The bill was meant to protect the creature from violent encounters with man, like the one Florida wildlife tracker Dan Jackson had in December of 2002. Jackson set a trap at an unlikely location behind a strip mall in Collier City, Florida, at a dumpster where he believes a skunk ape was lured by old fruit in the garbage. I had found a game trail and uh, had been working it for quite some time and found that it ended where this uh, little retention pond was with a series of six dumpsters. Then I devised a plan where I was going to use a half a gallon container of orange juice with a strong sedative that I had put into it. And I had put extra sugar in it to both enhance the smell and the taste. If he drank the orange juice with his sedative in it, I had him. I had closed all the dumpsters with the can tricks, except for this one dumpster that I had the orange juice on. It was a long night that I started at about 9, 30, 10 o'clock and being very quiet in the area, uh, it wasn't too long before I kind of dozed off for a little bit. I kind of awoke with a start. I heard a, a noise, a scraping noise, and as I looked up above the dumpster, I saw the creature and he was looking directly at me. He put both hands on the edge of the dumpster and his elbows started to come up. And at that time, I was afraid. I can't tell you how afraid I was. I reached for my weapon, drew, and fired. He leaped up out of the dumpster. My shot went into the dumpster and missed him. He hit the ground and ran between the dumpsters and was gone in two seconds flat. Jackson's story, while dramatic, did not yield any physical evidence to support his encounter. 